Welcome to another Arite Athletics weekly challenge. This week we're going to talk a little bit about movement economy and how to make it better. Um, we'll kind of go a joint by joint approach this week. We're just going to go over how to make your knee move better. And we'll start from a really easy progression and then show you a couple more challenging progressions after that. Um, the idea here is we want each joint to be ideally to be able to move as much as possible pain-free and so these progressions will help increase your your joint range at specifically the knee joint which then we can apply to then more global movements where we're adding multi joints into succession and that way you can move better and ideally more pain-free so looking at the knee joint what we want to start with all I need is a possible towel Again, if, if you have pain during all any of these movements and or afterwards, you're going too far. So your progression may have to go a little slower. And so in this case, we're going to be working on creating as much flexion at the knee joint as possible, unloaded, which is going to help distribute pressure differently into the joint, um, which goes past 90 degrees. Obviously, if you have a... a artificial knee, you're going to um, not go too far into this because the prosthetic only allows for, I think, about 150 degrees of, of range there. Um, but what we're going to work on here is we're trying to get the calf and hamstring to press against each other. And so if I was unable to pull all the way in like this, we use the towel to then get those two tissues to make contact with each other. And so this is your first progression on trying to get more knee flexion. And you'll do that for eight to 10 repetitions. All these progressions should be able to, you should be able to do these daily. So these aren't things that are increasing a lot of tensile load on, on muscular tissue to where you're gonna get really sore. Again, if, if, you, if this creates pain, then don't pull so hard into it or use a larger towel. So progression one, simple, just sitting here and working on pulling and basically decompressing the joint tissue, putting it into your soft tissue of the muscle, which then is redistributing a lot of pressure in the knee joint and getting a lot of motion back in that knee. Number two, you would just now apply a little bit more pressure. Again, you can use your towel if need be. And your, from your quadruped position, you can do this both legs together. Toes tucked under initially, which is gonna decrease that range. So I would just be doing my rock backs. This is why we do a lot of those rock backs in your warm up. The sneaky way of me getting you to increase your hip and knee flexion as you go along. So say that was easy. Now I can increase my range by getting rid of the towel to work on that. Again, if I was, you can always do two at once there. The next progression would be then pointing your toe. And now that's gonna increase that range. Again, pain-free range of motion there. You could also take that, again, if we just wanna work on one leg at a time, you can use a chair or bench. In this case, I'm just gonna use this little table put my leg up on the table, and now I can just do one leg at a time going through that. Again, trying to get that contact of the calf and hamstring together there as I work on increasing that flexion. It's great for uh, increasing the joints uh, sustainability and getting better blood flow, uh, addressing cartilage issues, and again, trying to create this gap in the knee. You then, to now start applying more load, you could be in a stairwell, stel, stairwell for this. You can grab the hold so you're not working on uh, challenging your balance too much, but you would start with the leg higher up. So you could be, you know, two to three steps up. And then you would work on driving forward. Again, trying to get that calf to hamstring contact. It's fine if the heel comes off in this case. And then return right back up. Again, same idea. You want to be able to repeat this ideally daily to work on getting that increase in knee flexion back. 
You can also take this a step further if you want and grab and internally rotate your tibia. That's the normal action that should be happening in flexion anyways, as you go through that. And then to make it more challenging as that gets better, again, this could take a month, two, three, depending on how your kinematics are working in general. But the idea is doing this daily to make a lasting change over a period of time. And so then I would start going down lower. So I wouldn't necessarily just go from, you know, this 18 inch height all the way down to the height of a yoga block. But if I was in a stairwell, I could drop six inches to the next stair and, and then go down. But here, same idea. And I'm gonna be holding on to the walls as I go through that. Now I'm increasing that load as I work that knee flexion going past that 90 degree mark, which is where the most pressure is at that knee joint. Once you get past that, we just use that force. And then we can keep progressing eventually to the ground as you go into that deeper knee flexion. Again, not concerned with the heel coming off in this case, because we're again just addressing that knee joint. We can also eventually do that bilaterally. So if I was wanting to do kind of in a way that balanced squat here, ideally pe put people on a slant board, but I can just prop people's heels up. And then with those heels elevated, driving that shin angle forward, this is a way of doing both legs at the same time, getting that Again, calf to hamstring pressure between the two knee joints. Again, that's something that I would progress to. So if any of these cause pain, back off, go to an easier regression, something that you can repeat daily and keep going uh, after it. And uh, hopefully this helps out with a lot of your knee function. As we, as we get better with that knee function, then it's gonna then go right into a lot of your other movements and make those movements that much easier. So start this week with assessing your knee function and flexion and uh, go after it and, and get better at it.